Good morning, good morning. It's a little chilly, double hoodie. As you can see, it's getting already dirty. Today, we're getting to a big job. As you can see, my car is pre-equipped to handle truck stop needs. We're replacing this guy, and that's an air compressor on this thing. As you can see, I already drained the coolant. There's a line right here from the water pump. And uh, I unbolted this power steering pump. Should be fine, these hoses should be fine. Uh, just to get out the way so I can access these bolts. It's been leaking from the bag and also my freaking valve cover is leaking. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty rough. Uh, I have a brand new valve cover, if you've seen that box in the car just now. And I also have a new seal and new bolts. Since I'm draining the fluid, uh, this hose has to kind of come out to get this thing out. You can do it without taking it off, but you're probably gonna end up damaging your valve cover, uh, at least to my skill set. But yeah, here uh, I'm also replacing the fuel pump, which is right here, and also the air governor right here. And all of these coolant lines are also going to get replaced, which are fairly old. And then we'll see how these clamps are doing, but these hoses should be fine. And then I also have this braided hose that goes back right there because uh, to my understanding when these get old uh they start throwing oil, oil into the air and usually these lines clog up plus this line is not that expensive it's like 50 60 dollars so might as well replace it uh air compressor is leaking on the other side this thing was not touched on this rebuild uh so i was like you know what i'm just go ahead and do this myself i'm gonna have a buddy come in and help me put a new one in because this thing does weigh about like I think like 70 pounds um, and it's kind of a pain especially I want to throw gasket maker however it is sketchy if you throw gasket maker on it because uh, oil inlet is right here this is your oil feed line I also bought that brand new but oil drops into the crankcase housing which is right here so if you put gasket maker and it covers that crankcase housing well that's not gonna be good news uh, so you just got to be careful with that, but I still want to put gasket maker. So yeah, we're going to try to unbolt all this, take a lot of pictures, make sure I don't connect anything wrong, uh, and just roll with that. But by the looks of it, you almost can't connect anything wrong because like, as you can see here, these hoses are actually bigger. These fuel lines are actually also bigger. Uh, so I don't think you can even do it wrong, even if you wanted to. However, still good to take pictures. This compressor beginning of the year used to be like, I believe like $600 at Freightliner. And now they're a thousand bucks. However, I found a place in Chicago. I watched another YouTuber that talked about it. A place in Chicago, it's called like Rebuilders Enterprises, I believe. If you're interested, just ask, I'll tell you. Uh, they're on eBay. And I bought one for $300 and I think $25 but it's Reman, Freightliners is Reman as well. It's Bendix brand, it's got a warranty on it. Uh, so that did it for me. Uh, yeah, this the vault thing is the champ of the day. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get to doing this. I know there's quite a bit of bolts. Some of them are really tightly back there. So hopefully we can reach them and get to everything. But yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just keep on at it and keep you posted so i just want to show this to everyone as you can see there's clear signs of oil being thrown in here and this is an airline there should be zero oil in here but as these things get old they'll start throwing oil and i guess then they'll go into your air dryer and it can't be good news but yeah let's continue all right after battling with that thing I found the best ways for me to stand up over here and grab it from up top. But definitely like installing this yourself is very difficult. And you can see like where they put gasket maker, it definitely went into the hole. And I mean, look at this. That oil did this, the oil pressure. As you can see, it made a little hole for itself, but they put too much gasket maker and that's what happens and this could kill your compressor i'm surprised this thing was even running solid uh, but as you can see like it clogged it up and then it poked through especially this permatex that dries fast i think the detroit gasket maker uh isn't as bad 
uh, but I don't know. But definitely, definitely not put a lot of it. But yeah, this thing was heavy. And then you have these gears here that have to perfectly line up. And this here goes into your power steering pump, which is on the front. And you got to find a way to lining up or just remove the pump, which is what I'm going to do. But yeah, I think I'm about to ride into Freightliner, buy some gasket maker and some hoses, and then uh, get to it. All right, everyone got Kentucky rookie in the house. <laughs> Used to be Texas rookie. We got a new compressor, throwing all fittings on, new air governor, fuel pump, all these fittings. The freaking uh, gear came damaged. Had to throw gear from the old compressor, is better. And then I uh, put a new hose on there and uh, hopefully throw it on. All right, everyone, just want to give you a follow up kind of what's going on here. So you're aware uh, we finished it. As you can see, new fuel pump, compressor, uh, lines. Yeah, everything works good. Governor, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, good to go. And new valve cover, just need to wash the engine and it should be good to go. Catch you on the next one.